Check it out. We are at one of the oldest restaurants in all of New York City, the Grand Central Oyster Bar. Yes, that's right. There is actually a legitimate restaurant inside Grand Central Terminal. And as a matter of fact, it's been around since 1913. And I cannot believe we're a part of history right now. That's over 100 years for all you math whizzes out there. That's like having a steakhouse in Chicago's Union Station. We really wanted to check this out. This is one of the restaurants that you have to put on your NYC to-do list for your life. And of course, y'all know we love oysters on this channel. We just recently had some in the West Loop. We also had oysters and champagne over in London. Now today we're having a more casual meal. We didn't want to go all out, but we did want to sample some of the most popular items. So we got a plate of eight oysters. We got two, 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 and two. Some from Prince Edward Island, some from Rhode Island, some from New Brunswick. We knew we had to get a clam chowder. We were trying to decide between New England and Manhattan. We figured, you know what? In honor of our newness to Manhattan, Let's go ahead with the namesake clam chowder. That's a tomato-based one versus the more cream-based one from New England. We also got the oyster pan roast, which is one of their signature dishes, and a jumbo shrimp cocktail. Now we're trying to figure out, is it worth dining at the Grand Central Oyster Bar over 120 years later? We're gonna find out today. I'm gonna start off with the jumbo shrimp cocktail. Now these are jumbo shrimp. Dip it in a little cocktail sauce. I already squeezed the lemon in it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, thick, hearty shrimp. We watched a video the other day on how shrimp cocktail is actually prepared. And it actually surprised me because I always thought it was just cold shrimp that maybe was steamed or something, but there's a lot that goes into it. We always love getting shrimp. Mm. Yum. Now I know it's hard to believe these are jumbo shrimp because I have jumbo hands, but you're gonna have to believe me. I remember growing up and always looking in the soup aisle at the grocery store and seeing stuff like Manhattan clam chowder, and wondering what that was all about. We didn't really eat a whole lot of seafood in my house. It was more of a birthday thing. Every birthday, I asked my parents to take me to a seafood restaurant, but I always got shrimp, lobster, and crab. Never anything like this, so I'm really hyped to try it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Really savory, hearty soup. Mmm, that is good. It would go well with some oyster crackers, which I thought they were gonna include, but they didn't bring it to us. Not really creamy like a tomato bisque. I would say it's a little bit more like a tomato soup. It's got a lot of vegetables, and I see a bunch of pieces of clams. Before we dined in at the Grand Central Oyster Bar, of course I did a ton of research. That involved reading archives of the New York Times, the New Yorker, various food review websites like Eater and Infatuation. And I kept reading about the oyster pan roast. This is one of their signature dishes. It's cooked in the old school way, whatever that means. I have never had anything like this, nor have I heard of anything like this. So this is a food adventure that we're embarking on together. Wow. Mm. Wow, that's like a creamy, garlicky soup with the uh, oyster, the saltiness of it. That is really good. Very appropriate for a restaurant like this to serve up something so cool and done so well. Now when we placed our order for the items, the shrimp cocktail and the Manhattan clam chowder came out instantly. That was followed up by our oyster platter but the oyster pan roast came out last, so you know it's made to order. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
There's oysters in here and there's also some bread. Soak up all that broth. Mmm. That's nice. This is definitely a type of soup that I would have loved as a kid after playing basketball outside all day. Come into a nice seafoody, creamy soup with some bread in it. Oh, wow. This is our plate of oysters. Of course, we couldn't come to the Grand Central Oyster Bar and not get oysters. We got eight total oysters, four sets of two, some from Rhode Island, some from New Brunswick, some from Prince Edward Island. We already forgot which is which, but does come with a cocktail sauce and the mignonette. Of course, a couple of lemons, and they're served on ice. A lot of times when we order oysters, we just let the chef do the picking. But today we were feeling a little lucky, so we decided to make our own selections. And we didn't want to go crazy with oysters tonight. They do have like 20 or 30 varieties. But there's another thing that when we order oysters, we always forget if they just tell us. If there's no piece of paper that says which oysters which, it just flies out of our memory right away. In any case, I've never met an oyster that I didn't like, so cheers. It's spicy. Looks spicy. <clears throat> yeah. First oyster was very creamy and buttery. I wish I knew where it was from, but I know it was good. This is one of the big dog oysters. It reminds me of the ones that we had over in London. Cheers. Notes of celery, cucumber, and a little bit of taste of the sea. The mignonette was spicy, but that cocktail sauce was definitely more mild. So we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy this little feast over here and report back. So we just wrapped up our meal at Grand Central Oyster Bar. We had eight oysters, the Manhattan clam chowder, the oyster pan roast, and the jumbo shrimp. We ate in their famous dining room with the Guastavino tiles. Beautiful, beautiful decor in there. They also have an oyster bar, a saloon, and I think a lunch counter. So is dining at the Grand Central Oyster Bar worth it in 2023? Well, in a first for the channel, I actually have to say no. And this actually pains me because I was really looking forward to dining here. I thought maybe it'd be a spot that I'd be adding to our list of favorites, coming back to try to eat at the oyster bar, seeing the different varieties and everything else they had to offer up on the menu. But I have to say that our food was mediocre, above average at best, seven, seven and a half out of 10. And I have to say the service was poor. Now I know that everybody has bad days, but our server actually got our oyster order completely wrong. And I suspected as much when he put down the plate and he started listing off the oysters and I was like, wait a second, I don't think that's what we ordered, but I rolled with it because like I said, I love oysters. I never met one that I didn't like and they were actually good. They weren't great, they weren't excellent, they were just good. Then on the receipt, it was confirmed these were not the oysters that I ordered. The Manhattan clam chowder did not come with oyster crackers even though it's pictured right next to me, it's on the menu. And the Manhattan clam chowder was just fine. The jumbo shrimp cocktail, I would say five out of 10. And finally, the oyster pan roast, it was very interesting and maybe an eight out of 10. And I figured maybe the service will get better, but it didn't. He didn't check on us. He didn't ask us how everything was. Then a funny thing happened. A fly landed in our water. And when I asked the guy to replace it, he kind of just walked away. Five, 10 minutes later, I had to remind him to give a new water. And he was really, really upset about serving a glass of water, which I thought was really bizarre. We tried to stick to the basics for our first visit. You know, that's what we typically do, especially for an institution like Grand Central Oyster Bar. I'm glad it's here. I'm really happy that we got to try it, experience the space. But I can say that in a first for the channel, I will not be returning to this restaurant. But all in all, we had a great food adventure in NYC. We will see you next time. Peace.